So here it is. That's the router. Let's see, secure connection, easy install, ready USB access, simultaneously dual band, gigabit wired, genie app, three wishes free. Let's take a look at the back. Let's see. 300 megabits per second. 867 megabits, a very funny number. USB 2.0, single core, doesn't matter. Say, no. Boring. This one, we'll try and hack this, this feature. Let's see, okay. Let's see if we can open the box. Let's see, can we open it here? No, we can't. Another thing that I noticed while I was in the store is that it only has VPA and VPA2, PSK. It doesn't have WEP. That sucks because uh, I was I was hoping one of them would ha have that, or maybe Radius. But maybe this doesn't include all of the technologies that this router supports. So we'll just have to hope that it supports more stuff so we can hack more stuff. So let's try and open it here. Let's see. Just zoom in on the corner. Come on, little camera. It's not super easy when you are also holding mobile phone in your other hand because I am low-tech like that recording with one hand and unpacking with the other okay we'll just put the box down and focus here we go unpack like a gorilla <laughs> let's see It's mine, my own, my precious. Are we with that? Let's see. How can we open it? Sneaky developer or designer. Come on. <laughs> All right, put the box on the ground. Let's see. We got a CD. Don't need that. We've got a manual. Don't care about the manual. Network cable. Let's untie that. Come on. Let's see. You can do it. There we go. Let's have a look at the cable specifications. Just untie it so we can. Okay, this one is quite tricky, but I found the text, so I'll just get it into focus of v and view as well. So it's going to say CAT E5 patch cable. There's supposed to be a C behind this sticker. So that that's fine. Power adapter, it's always nice. You know, it's wrapped in that silly plastic as well. You can see this is the connector in case you've never seen one of these before and this is most likely 12 volts let's see 
Yeah. Surprise. Everything runs on 12 volts. It's the future. Welcome to the future, where everything runs on 12 volts. Okay, a little bit of hexa hexagonal mesh. Looks nice. Got, uh, let's see, got the name here. And <laughs> this is the Wi Fi network name by default. This is the password. That's not too bad. Even though it's, it says uh, not suited for work things right here, that's not good. And there is a serial number as well. I'm not going to use this router for real. I'm only going to use it for demonstration purposes. So, and I'm going to change the SSID. Let's see, what does it say here? Imagine if this is the default password on all of these and nobody changes that password. That would be pretty bad. <clears throat> I would have to buy two of them. But um, I'm not going to buy two, but imagine I buy two and the network name is the same and the password is, is, is the same. Then you could just look for any network, wireless networks named this, and you could just try and log in with this. Or maybe it's just magical trail and then just a random number in the end. That limits the possible uh, amount of numbers to just uh, a, thousand, a thousand. <clears throat> From zero, zero, zero to 999. Let's see, we have some antennas here. Antenna has been activated. And this nice plastic here, let's just keep it on, you know, in case it's broken or something, you never know. I'll just fire this up and we'll have a look at the, at the computer. All right, I almost forgot to show you the back of this. You know, we didn't even look at the back. You can see we got the VPS button here. Just autofocus, thank you. VPS, Wi-Fi on and off, never seen that before. USB. Then here and when reset power on and power off and full power input. So basically, we'll just plug in uh, our hacking machine into this port. <coughs> Sorry about that. And we will plug in, for example, this to the internet. Almost forgot we need one of these an alpha card. It's basically just a wireless card. Usually these are built into everything, like your mobile phone, your laptop, and whatever. But this one here supports, uh, this one uses a specific chipset, which supports packet injection, which is really useful and almost necessary if you're doing professional penetration testing, aka professional hacking for a living uh, as a white hat. So this is the box, and we'll just open it. We have an antenna here. You can use this to like to as a drumstick maybe or to maybe hit people with the fingers. It's not really hard. But maybe just use it use it as an antenna. We have the cable here. Looks pretty not too long, not too short. It is uh I think that's called micro micro USB. Don't hang me up on it. Maybe it's type B. Open. And then we have the card. Oh, the alpha card. Plug it in via USB to the computer. Make sure the antenna is connected, and you got yourself a very a quite long-range uh, wireless card. And in case, for example, you have a laptop that doesn't have wireless built in, then you can use one of these and screw it onto here. You know, connect the USB here. But um, yeah, usually if you get one of these, it's usually because you're going to hack, uh, hack a wireless network professionally because they have uh, quite good range and they just work. So that, that's why people use them for professional penetration testing.